Hello Taurus and welcome to your July 2019 card reading for love and romance. So if you are a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, this reading is for you. Okay, if you're on the cusp of a Taurus, well, when I get my Gemini video, you may want to check out Gemini in case you are a uh, cusp. Uh, that means if you are almost on the baseline of Gemini and Taurus, okay, because they both might be resonating with you. All right. And as a reminder, as always, these are for the general public. So these readings will not resonate with everyone. So if you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below in the description box. Okay. So after uh, focusing and shuffling my cards for you, Taurus, I drew the marriage card, the family room card, and the court card. And I drew the mountain, the lily, and the snake, and the siren for your advice card, okay? And these are from three different decks. I'm using my Kipper cards and Lenormand cards. So let's see what I see for you for this month for love and relationships, okay? So what I get here right away is definitely some marriage or long-term relationships that are showing up here. So many of you, or I'll sh I'll s shall I say, most of you are in a committed relationship who are watching, okay? Definitely some issues related to court and legal proceedings, okay? So it's obvious some of you um, may be going through a divorce or possibly even a legal separation due to cheating or a third party. And the reason I say cheating or a third party is because the lily is also near the snake and in this reading as well as which I'll get to this card in a minute or in a few minutes. So a lot of times um, the snake has to do with sexual um, or the lily next to the snake usually refers to sexual seduction or affairs. And the mountain card, the mountain card shows challenges with someone who um, has possibly cheated or has had an affair, or maybe there is suspicions of it, okay? Um, now, the reason I was seeing that most of you or some of you that are watching are probably in a committed relationship is because we do have the marriage card and we do have the family card, okay? So when you get these cards next to each other, this symbolizes uh, most of the time couples that are living together, even if you're not legally married, um, but you do have legal cards. Now, there is some positives, so I'll, I'll talk of the positives, but now for some, the Kipper cards shows that some of you decide to possibly commit to marriage okay because you have the marriage so you guys some of you might be like i'm ready to commit i'm ready to to take this the next step i want to make turn this into a family let's do it legally right because it's been such a challenge maybe for the other person and they've been probably wanting this marriage so the the slight negative of this is there is a lot of pressure from someone else who could have been pushing this on to some of you okay and it's not and for some of you you may not mind getting married or committing to this person whether it's just moving in together uh, sharing the same a bank account maybe you're not legally married but for some of you you might want this marriage you just I do feel this is a strongly a obligation type of uh, setting right here if it wasn't for the mountain and the snake I would say this is more willingly to be married but there is some issues here okay and so like I was saying if you for some of you you might decide to commit to marriage whether you want to or out of obligation but again there is that um, doing it out of moral reasons as in um, it's the right thing to do because the lily card is about morals it's about best judgment it's about doing the right thing so I <sighs> So this shows, for some of you, this could be a shotgun type of wedding thing. And again, the mountain card is there. And again, the snake being seducing, I feel like someone feels they must marry or must stay in this relationship because they feel very pressured to do so, okay? And some of you um, may already be married and or you may already be committed so 
if if you are and you're not looking to get married this could be that some of you want out and there could be a third party involved okay again you know the lily is not always a sexual card but at times the lily card can represent sexual uh, situations between you and someone else and you do have the snake which often means in the lenormand deck that somebody is seducing you there's a lot of um, temptation involved there's a lot of steering someone away or possibly your own desires might be steering you away so maybe there's no third party at all so for some of you this is not a cheating issue at all but you're, you're you're staying in a relationship whether it's marriage or just committed or you're just living with someone but you're you're kind of trying to get out of it but it's been so hard see the mountain card is all about challenges hurdles and uh, you're trying to to, maybe some of you are just in it because of well I hate to say this but some people stay in a relationship because of available sex the sex is easily available your wife or your husband or your you know you bought the cow or you don't have to buy the milk you got the cow for free type of thing right no judgment there um, but for some of you you might feel that you're just hanging around because they still meet your sexual desires but you're still tempted to be on your own whether it's because of a third party or not okay um, but some of you like I said feels that they must marry because it's the right thing to do or they feel pressured now another reason may have to do with family pressures because you do have the family okay but this relationship I still feel like it's a bit forced to me let me see what else I get from here. Let me see if I pick up anything else. Well, what I also do get here is uh, you might, some of you might feel very comfortable in your relationship or marriage already. Like I was kind of saying earlier, available sex, but even if it's not about that, you're already comfortable and you are a fixed sign. So when it does come to Taurus, um, Tauruses are very, uh, sometimes, depending on your moon or your rising, etc., a lot of times you guys have a hard time with change or making huge changes. Sometimes it's it's not easy for you guys to go out of your comfort zone. So that is understanding that you want security and safety and it might be just easier just to deal with staying in this relationship or marriage for now, even if you do have other uh, desires outside of your relationship whether there's someone else or not you guys just feel like it's the right thing to do by just staying even though you have a hard time going back and forth in your mind what you really want to do okay that's what I'm getting from here um, because you know the family card is also a card of comfort home um, feeling at peace um, and of course family right and other Kipper card decks card 21 can also be known as the living room kind of like this one's called the family room I usually just call it the family card but the family room is also the card of sacred space feeling safe kind of like the house card but the court card next to it relates to major decisions even if it's not a legal situation here it could still mean making a big decision that has to do with big changes and it's very logical changes these are not heartfelt emotions this is thinking with your head even though down here it's more like deciding with your heart or um, your genitals <laughs> but at the same time you do have the court which is a card of logical thinking kind of like the king the the king of swords card um, it's not the same as the king of swords but I kind of see it that way a little bit um, so like I said it can mean the sacred space when it comes to the family room card but the court card relates to like I said major decisions so not always a divorce but it can also mean that someone in this relationship may also be jealous and decide to hold a grudge so in some cases that's what the court card also refers to in the kipper deck is that someone feels jealous or they feel uh, somebody is still holding a grudge from whatever was going on in this marriage and this could have been for some of you maybe some family members were causing issues I just feel like there's a lot of pressure with you guys because of the mountain card especially if it wasn't for the mountain card and the snake card and maybe the court card um, I would see a little bit more positive here although there's you know like I said this can you can change everything now that you know um, and again this isn't always about divorce so 
someone in this relationship may just be upset at you so you're just sticking around trying to do the right thing but you're still desiring other things or someone else I do also hear right now jealous of someone else's relationship I don't know why jealous of somebody else's relationship um, however that resonates with you um, like uh, I wonder if it has to do with some kind of mirroring mirroring another person or wanting what someone else has maybe some of you want someone else who is already taken because maybe you're both taken you know there's that obligation again I wonder if it has to do with that um, or maybe you wish your relationship was like theirs so admiring other other uh, relationships wishing your marriage or your relate or maybe for those of you that are single maybe you're just wanting what someone else has um, you want that kind of relationship now the mountain card next to the lily can also be about low sex drive so one of you in the relationship may feel like the other person isn't having sex enough or that they cannot keep up with you maybe your uh, sex drive is very high and the snake can show an obstacle between you and this other person because desires are not met or they're met with cold silence that's what I actually meant to say so the desires there but someone's not giving in and that happens you know and when, when we get comfortable with people you know relationships after the honeymoon they kind of slow down and things get a little bit boring um, but I feel like maybe one of you this could be another meaning here one of you um, is maybe just more tired maybe you're working a harder job etc etc um, or another meaning is maybe some of you are trying to seduce someone and that's not working and maybe this is your partner already that you're married to or committed to now for some of you this can be an older person or maybe you are older than the person you're dealing with okay because the lily card can sometimes refer to older age so there could be someone in the picture um, that's a little bit older than you or maybe your significant other is older than you okay but even if they're not it's just one of the meanings okay so I feel like there's definitely some challenges that needs to be worked on this month, Taurus. Um, try to keep your head up, okay? And always manifest positive outcomes because like I always say, the future is always changing, okay? Now let's look at your advice card for the month. So I do have the siren. So as you can see here, it does read, a temptation may lead you astray. So, and it's very weird how I got that considering everything I saw in this and these cards, right? So the siren is a card of temptation, obviously, and she can often represent dealing with a person who charms you. And it's interesting because this card, <laughs> what I was talking about earlier. Um, so this, possibly this other person tries to promise something that's very desirable to you so maybe this is why some of you feel stuck in a relationship and want to be with someone else or someone else's type of relationship is what you desire but you stay in the family you keep it together legally because it's the right thing to do even though you're struggling you see how this all kind of kind of makes sense of what she's saying right so you may possibly want to resist temptation okay if you don't want to mess anything up this month but i will say this if you are in a very happy unhappy relationship it is your choice because again um, sometimes we do stay in relationships for the tax benefits or the money benefits or there's children involved etc cetera, etc cetera, and that's that's understandable but i feel like she could be advising you to be careful with your dealings because maybe it will lead to this remember this could be read past present future so even though i'm technically technically reading for july this is just for the just for july by the way but maybe these two have to do with the future if things are not fixed here due to this card then it's possible that this can end up where there's some kind of separation because of temptation that does lead you astray and she's kind of giving you that little heads up so um <clears throat> but it is your decision anyhow that's what i see for you taurus and as always thank you for listening to me if you want your own personal reading all my links are down below in the description box and i will see you guys on my next video